Hi, dear here. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to use the virtual machine. Um, so you've logged in successfully uh, to Aloha uh, using the first set of instructions and now we actually want to use the virtual machine. Now the first thing you'll notice is you have two uh, sort of desktops. You've got the lower level start button and the higher level start one. The lower level one is on the machine that you're currently sitting at, that physically beside you. So maybe your laptop or your PC or whatever it is you're, you're using. The upper level start button is on the virtual machine. So that's located in Letterkenny and you're using that machine. Um, so when you're clicking on a button, remember when you're working in the virtual area, use the virtual buttons and not the lower level ones. The lower level ones are the ones on your machine and the upper level ones are the ones on the virtual machine. So this is the virtual machine we're working on now. So the first thing and all we're gonna do now is we're going to open up Aloha. So I'm gonna click on the start button down here. It's the higher uh, level one up here. And then I'm going to go to Aloha and I'm going to open Aloha Manager. Okay, now it's asking me to log in. Uh, yours mightn't come up with 501, but put in 501 as your login. And we're gonna uh, put in our password and our password is uh, student one. Okay, capital S student one okay uh, and sign in now if it asks you to change the password because you haven't logged in in a long while do change the password and just change it to student 21 with a capital s so capital s student 21 okay and that everyone has the same password and we won't get lost okay so then click on sign in okay so you get logged in Okay, and this is Aloha Manager. So this uh, is the back end of a cash register. So the front end is where people use it at the, in the restaurant or in the bar. This is the back end where you set up your prices and your items. Uh, for example, if you're in a bar, you might be adding whiskies or beers or whatever, and you're saying what price you're gonna charge for them. Or in a restaurant, you're putting in your starters and your main courses uh, and your dessert. Uh, okay, so we'll just do a very uh, simple task now. So we're gonna create a new item. So uh, we go to maintenance and then click on menu and then click on oh, this one and then click on items. OK, and I'm just going to maximize this uh, so I can see it. Um, and you can see here if I click in here. Um, here are all the different items that are in here at the moment. So we've got starters, uh, different chicken breast, uh, spinach and artichoke dip, etc. We've got our different starters and we scroll down. We've got mains, we've got a bacon cheeseburger, we've got a shrimp pasta and we scroll down. And you can see all of the different bits and pieces that are on the menu are listed in here. So sides, we've got zucchini fritters, uh, Italian kale. Then we've got modifiers and we'll explain them later, but we've got things like rare and medium rare, those sort of things, the descriptions of how you want to order things. We've got desserts, uh, we've got pizzas, and we've all sorts of cocktails and beers. And here's all the different bits and pieces uh, within the menu that are, are there at the moment. So we'll get rid of this little drop down now by just clicking someplace else. And we now want to create a new one. So let's click on new up here. OK, and the first thing it's asking me to do is to put in a number. So let's put in a new number and decide. And this decides where in that list we were looking at, where it'll go in the list. So let's uh, just put in uh, 420 uh, to start off. OK, and then I'm using the down arrow key uh, to move to the next one. So we're actually going to start creating a sort of a series of ice cream cones and we just want to put in a little header in, in this section. So I'm just going to do star, star, star and then ice cones and star 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 just to make it look uh, very obvious oh I have too many stars at the beginning that's why it's not let me okay and um, and so just in case um, uh, you know we can so it means in that little list that we drop down it's very easy to find the ice cream cones so ice cones is what we're going to go with Okay, so we're going to uh, change the sales and retail category just to categorize this correctly for reporting purposes. So in here, we're going to choose 130 desserts. Okay, and it goes in as desserts and that's purely for reporting purposes. We're happy with that. So we click on save. Uh, no, we don't want to. We'll repeat this action for all updates. No, we're not going to update the front of house system. So the virtual machine we're looking at the moment actually doesn't have a front of house system uh, for the virtual machines. We have a live one in the college, uh, but not uh, for the learners. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is create another new one. 
and you can see automatically it moved forward. We had put in 420, now it's gone to 421. That's fine. Our type is standard, that's grand. And now we're gonna actually put in a, a regular. So the first cone, uh, the, the short name, the short name is the one uh, that appears on the cash register button, like a little button on the cash register. Um, so uh, it is maximum 15 characters. So we're just gonna type in straw cone. So with three names, with the short name that'll appear on the cash register button, we have the chit name that'll appear on the kitchen printer, um, and we have the sing or the long name, um, which is the uh, name that'll appear on the cash on the uh, customer's bill or the epos bill. Okay, so the little chit from the um, uh, from the cash register. So again, we're going to just put in straw cone, straw cone, and single scoop strawberry cone. I'm actually I should really get that capital S as well because that's what's going to appear. Um, so again, uh, 15 maximum, 15 characters for your short name and your chit name and 25 characters uh, for your long name. Um, so for example, in the kitchen, if you wanted to make it obvious that it was a single one, you might go single or SGL maybe. Okay, Ooh, we don't need one S. Um, so again, just, you know, it, it, this won't be seen by the customer, but it might just make it a bit clearer in the kitchen. Okay, so then uh, you hit save uh, and then hit new. Uh, and we don't want to, uh, we're going to say, tick that button there so it doesn't keep asking you. Do we want to perform real-time update? No, we don't. Because that means, would you update the cash register? And you'd never update the cash register uh, if it was in use at the time. You'd maybe update at the end of night when the, when the, when the bar or the restaurant is shut. So I'm going to say no to that. Okay, uh, and then we'll go to new. Uh, and yours will come up um, to here uh, and we're going to put in a, a vanilla cone and we're also going to do a chocolate cone in exactly the same way. So here's the vanilla cone okay uh, and again vanilla cone, vanilla cone, single scoop vanilla cone uh, and don't forget down the bottom here we're going to put our categories uh, to desserts okay you need to make sure you put that to dessert okay and it's 130 okay so go to 130 and desserts and save and do exactly the same then for your for your chocolate uh, cone as well. Okay, and when you've got the three of them in, uh, then hit close uh, to come out. Okay, so we've created our three vanilla cones. Uh, <clears throat> they're just sitting in the database now. They wouldn't appear on any menu. We now need to create a sub menu called uh, uh, ice cream cones. Um, and we're going to then put that onto the menu. We're going to go to maintenance menu sub menus. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we have here in our sub menus. Okay, we've got starters, mains, and desserts, uh, and then we've different ones that might appear, for example, in the restaurant starters, which might be different to the bar starters, etc. So sometimes you have repetitions of the ones down here, and you really need to keep track of, of what uh, is available to you. Uh, we're going to do one now. We're going to start at number 137. Okay, so we're going to click on new. Our number is going to, we're not going to take the number they've offered us here. We're going to change this to 137. Okay, our short name is going to be uh, Ice Cone. Our long name will be Ice Cone as well. Uh, and we hit uh, save. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the layout tab. So up here, we were in sub menu. We're now going to go to layout. OK, so over here, we're going to uh, in the items area. Now we're going to select a button up here. OK, uh, so again, it, it'll know uh, which button you've selected. So over here, then um, we're going to select uh, the ice cream home, which is 421, I think was the first one. Okay, we've got our strawberry cone. Select the second button and put in our vanilla cone. And select the third button over here. And put in the chocolate cone. Okay, so we've got our three uh, sub menus. But this sub menu doesn't appear anywhere on a main menu. Okay, so this is a sub menu, but does it appear in the bar? Does it appear in the restaurant? No, we haven't specified that. So we need to actually now put this sub menu onto a main menu. So let's hit save to that. Uh, 
Okay, we have our sub menu uh, and we'll close out of it. So this time we'll go, we're putting on the sub menu onto the restaurant menu. We'll go maintenance menu, menus. Okay. Uh, and we're going to ch choose uh, the restaurant menu, which is number 10. Okay, uh, so that's where it's going to go. Uh, and then click on layout. Okay, and these are all the sub menus that are on there. We've got soft drinks, we've got wine and champagne, we've got spirits, starters, mains and sides. Okay, so this, there's another button here. We're going to select the button that we want to put it on. And then up here, we're going to find our ice cream cones. We put it in as 137. So let's uh, select uh, ice cream cones there and you can see it's in, it's in as ice cream cones. Okay, we're happy with that. So we hit save. So just to refresh that, we create menu items uh, and we created the three different uh, vanilla, uh, chocolate and strawberry ice cream cones. We put those ice cream cones on a sub menu and then put the sub menu on a main menu. And now it would appear in the restaurant. And if you clicked on ice cream cones, you would see the choice strawberry, vanilla and chocolate. OK, so now we're going to close out of here and I'm just going to make sure that you all know how to log off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close Aloha Manager. So I'm going to click on the X up there and we've closed out of it. Now, it's really important that you remember to log off uh, the um, virtual machine. So down here. You're going to click on the little uh, face thing, the little person thing, and you'll see your own name. So click on that. And then up here, you're going to click on sign out. OK, so let's click on sign out. And that means that when you come in the next time, it'll work for you uh, and you have to log in again. So you make sure you sign out, because if you don't do that, when you try and log in the next time, you're going to get an error message and you'll have to contact technical support. OK, so we click on sign out. Uh, and then you're good to shut down this particular tab uh, within the internet.